What's good everyone, SaberWolf94 on behalf of Ultra Trading Card Games and I've got a big ass video for you guys today 72 Mysterious Treasures Boosters from 2007 I'm gonna be opening all 72 of them Now I just wanna let everyone know before I get into this that even though I've opened a Domino Pearl Booster Box and now I'm going with the Mysterious Treasures I'm not gonna be opening a box or many packs from every set from DP up to Call of Legends the truth is I have bought boxes or a lot of packs from all of these sets besides uh, Rising Rivals, Platinum Rising Rivals and that's probably never going to happen because the set is way too expensive right now. So I have all or most of the cards from these sets. Also, even though I have loose boosters on the table here, 95% of the time you should never buy loose boosters from the internet or anyone else for that matter because they're very likely to be scaled. Um, if you don't know what that means, check Google about scaled packs or weighted packs and you figure out what I'm talking about. The reason why I have loose packs here is because uh, I got them from a trustworthy source but I could also be disappointed. We'll find out soon I guess. There's a lot of cards I'm hoping to get from this set. It's a really good one. So without further ado, I think it's about time we got into it. Okay, first pack. Spinarak, Marko, Nidoran, Seal, Gibble, a Reverse, Unknown, and a Useless Toxicroak, Gabite, Lake Boundary, and another Unknown. I'm going to be going a little bit fast because it's a lot of packs. Snow Run, Cyndaquil, Armor Fossil, Pikachu, Dadio. Ah, that's pretty good. Reverse Typhlosion. Wanted this card. Great. Great uh, Poke Power Fire Starter. You get a Fire Energy from your Discord Pile and attach it to one of your bench Pokemon. So it's kind of like uh, Electric and Bronzong from Black and White and our current format. No, I mean Bronze Zone from Phantom Force is rotated out, but you know, pretty good effects, pretty good poker powers, abilities. I mean, it got overshadowed when um, the Prime was released, Typhlosion Prime, which had pretty much the same effect, just a little better. Geodude, Zubat, Magikarp, Paris, Teddy Ursa. Reverse Apom, Gyarados, Golbat, Celio, and Magmar. So another cool Zubat, Magikarp, Paris. Teddy Ursa Snover. Whiskas. Uh, this is a bad card, I think, but reverse. Ultra Luminion, that's kind of nice. I have a couple of these, but I think I want more. Or I have one, actually, not a couple. Night Maintenance. Now, this was a really good recovery card. Kind of like the Super Rod from today. Shuffle in three Pokemon and basic energy in any combination back into your deck. Pretty good. So Weasel with the Chesto Berry is one of the things in Diamond and Pearl. Some, you know, basic Pokemon, uh, you know, they had a little, you know, berry, sort of. Uh, it wasn't a power, it wasn't a body, it was just like a little effect. And they could get some sort of bonus, maybe. Vulpix, Gibble, Shinx, Totodile. A reverse feel, unknown, Parasect, Vigoroth, nice art, but it wasn't that good, sadly. The one from Platinum is better. And a Nido Arena. So 
So in order for this to be successful, I'm hoping to get like around uh, 36 Ultra Rare Holo cards. And you know, three of them or two of them should be level X's in order for this to be worth it. Celebi, that's very nice. I don't have this. Another bad Toxicroak. Team Galactic's Wager. Gold and Special Metal Energy. And other ones like today. Back then, the only special, like, um, type of energy is Special Metal and Special Dark. Apom, Magby, Abra, Cricketot, Sphere, on Reverse, Hollow, Uxi, Orsring, Quilava, Fossil, Excavator, Excavator, sorry, and Shieldon. I have two of the level X's from this set, so what I really want is Magmortar level X and maybe the secret would be good, the ones with the, the Pixie Trio. Wait, was there nothing in here? This can't be right, no reverse. I see things. Wow, that's pretty strange. Wonder what's that all about? Okay, so that sucked. Pretty strange. Chansey. This one's pretty nice actually. Crogunk, Snow and Cinderquill. Another Typhlosion, kind of good. Walrin, which I like to say Whirlin. Quick Ball, unknown, special darkness energy. There's Beat of with a Wackenberry. Finian, Abra, Reverse, A Bad Executor, Dodrio, Unknown, and BB Search. This was a really good card back then too. It was a good supporter. Uh, Pokemon Communication and like SP Radar did almost the same thing, but this was a supporter. Uh, there was a lot of trainer lock, trainer negation back then. So this was a good card to have a couple of. Also, it was better than Pokemon Communication in the regard that you could shuffle. You could put back in your deck any card, whereas Pokemon Communication required a Pokemon to use. So, still a good card. Slackoth, Dusk Ball Reverse, Mr. Mime. This was a good card as well. Had the Poke Body Airy Wall. So basically, back then, there was a lot of attackers that could set up, you know, in the second turn with rare candies. Stuff like Kindra, Machamp, and then kill you in one hit with strong, fast attacks. Uh, Mr. Mime required your opponent's Pokemon to have at least three energy to attack it. So it was pretty. You could protect you. It also worked from the bench too, so even Dialga, oh, I mean, Garchomp C couldn't snipe it. Uh, I mean, Machamp could still kill it because it had an effect to not got any basic Pokemon, but was still a good card. Underrated card, in my opinion. Cricketod, Abra, Cinderquill, Remoraid, Chansey, 
an ultra rare hollow tyranitar. Well, it's a reverse actually, but that's pretty good. Oh, an ultra magmar. That's good. Rare hollow actually, but I like to say they're ultras. Krogunk, Totodile, Gibble, Magikarp, Skull Fossil, Honchko. Now that's what I'm talking about. I have wanted this card for so long. I mean, it's terrible, but I wanted this for so long. And my brother has this in, I think, maybe Reverse or maybe Ultra. And he just would not trade it for me. We came so close and he just wouldn't want to trade it in the end. Ultra Blissey. That's nice. I don't have this either. But yeah, I'm really glad I got this finally. I'm hoping to get a couple of these actually. Hope I get the Ultra one, the regular like Rare Hollow one. Dugong, Parasect, and another Vigoroth. Slack off, Paris, good art, Zubat, Chikorita, Finian, reverse Mr. Mime, that's really nice, I like this, Rampardos, kinda nice, too bad it's not that great, Tropius, Cranidos, Nidorina, one thing I don't really like, but we're gonna have to deal with it is, the art, I mean the print ink, in this set, it happened to me once with Secret Wonders 2. It's not very deep. Um, I don't know how that goes, but I guess we have to deal with it. You know, you pull the reverses and they just don't look as good as they should have. Electric, Finian, Abra, Magby, Apom. For Alligator, um, Cool art, cool card, cool Pokemon, but not a very good for Alligator as a card. Uh, the Prime one was obviously miles better. But I don't really have this, so I'm also glad I got it. Aria Dose, Fossil Excavator, Magmar, Tropius. Yeah. Another Whiskas Raichu, that's nice. Don't have this either. I actually don't have a lot of these hollows. Um, at best, with Mysterious Treasures, I had just purchased a lot of packs from a long time ago. Back when we weren't even getting boxes through the internet and stuff. So I do have a lot of the cards and I was lucky to get two level X's, but... I'm still missing a lot of rare hollows, so I'm getting there right now. Reverse Larvitar, Manectric, a Sand Slash. Pretty nice art, but not a great Pokemon, sadly. As a card, at least. BB Search. So I think we're doing okay so far, but I could be wrong. We're gonna have to count the hollows in the end or something. Reverse Rampardos, that's okay I guess. Walrin, unknown. Oh, what I really want to get is Garchomp too. I'm hoping to get a couple of those. The original Garchomp is from this set. Really popular Pokemon, a very good Pokemon. Yes, an Ultra Hodgecrow or a Rare Hollow Hodgecrow. I also play Yu-Gi-Oh, so they're like Ultras for me. 
I get confused. Really nice. Probably doesn't look as nice as my brother's, but whatever. Because like I said, the ink isn't very deep on the reverses and hollows. And that sucks. Major ass. Reverse crocodile, that's good. Unknown. I'm gonna have to actually read. This is good because uh, the one from Call of Legends and Heart Gold isn't very good. I'm pretty sure. Because I do like building retro decks and I will want to do a for Alligator Prime deck. So, you know, you got to have the good cards. Snow Run. Is this the first Snow Run we're seeing? Abra. Happy Nier. One of my favorite. Probably like one of my favorite normal Pokemon. My favorite cute Pokemon for sure. Out of the baby ones. Love the Pokedex entry, you know, with the rock that it gives to the friends and stuff. Speaking of favorite normal Pokemon, I really do hope I get a bunch of slackings. I mean, I have one. I want at least two, or even three, actually, for the Memory Berry deck. I mean, I'd use one for Platinum, too, but whatever. Reverse Pikachu and Pseudo Wudo. Cranidos. Pretty good attack for a stage one, actually, the second one. Bad Dodrio. Yes, another. Punch crow. That's pretty good. Our reverse was a surf skit. So I don't know, maybe we can since I'm going through the packs fast, maybe we can make it and go through all of them. There won't be a need for a part two. Reverse Chansey, that's great, another Typhlosion, good. I mean, I don't want to get like too many copies of the same card. Like, we don't really want five Typhlosions and stuff. So hopefully, I don't get any more. I think I got enough. Sphiel Bronzor, Orsering. Now look, it it looks so terrible. I mean, the ink is just so bad. Like they were running out of ink or something. A rare Hall Ambipom. I don't have this either. I uh, didn't really care if I pulled it, but I guess if we're going to complete the set, you got to have everything right. Another Honch Crow. I'm not going to lie, that's nice. A Bomb of Snow. One of my favorite ice type and grass Pokemon, really good. Um, wasn't that great, but wasn't complete shit either. Oh, another big Pokemon I really want from this is Azelf. Azelf from Mysterious Treasures. I mean, a Mesprit would be nice too, so we can have the trio, but I really want Azelf for sure. Lately. Oh, I almost forgot this was in here. Multi energy. 
artillery. I think this is the first one. Execute. Reverse Magmar, another Manectric, Happy Nye, Pupitar and Goldat. Bronzong too, now that I look at Bronzong. I want to get a couple of those too, hopefully. Teddy Ursa, another Ultra Blissey, that's kind of nice. This is a bad Blissey, but the art is great and I like the Blissey, so, you know, why not? That's good. So I'm starting to get a little worried. We have to pull at least two level access. Dodio. I don't want to be happy to get singles after I bought so many packs from this set. Raichu Reverse, Crobat, pretty cool art. My favorite poison type for sure, the Zubat family. I like all three, I don't just have Crobat as my favorite. All three of them are special for me. Uh, this wasn't very good, unfortunately. The attack isn't very good. If, if only had a decent attack, maybe 110 HP. You know, the power is okay. Resistance is good, Fury Treat is great. Weakness not that bad, but overshot by Gengar Prime once again. Well, I mean Crobat Prime. Another Typhlosion, damn. I don't want to get any more of those because it's going to be a waste of hollows at this point. When we still haven't gotten Garchomp. Uh, level Xs, such as Magmortar. I have Lucario and Electivire, but hey, better than Typhlosion. Reverse Team Galactic Wager. Uh, that card saw some play, but was eventually abandoned for better cards. Made your opponent play Rock, Paper, Scissors. Don't see that in a lot of cards. Fucked up. But I think we also have enough Haunch Coast to last me a lifetime of lust of one in that card. That sounds so terrible. But I think we have enough Haunch Coast, enough Typhlosions, enough Raichus too, I think. We really need to get some of the other cards. Reverse Bronze Ore. And Rare Hollow Minion. Pikachu. Oh, not again. Another Typhlosion. Ah, but I see we got Bronzong. 
So that's pretty good, my first Bonzong, but I mean, I guess I pulled two good cards in a pack. I like both of these are rare hollows. They're actual rarity, so that's good. Um, but I think we're gonna have way too many Typhlosions to spare. I mean, normally I'd sort out these cards and put them to sleeves as I'm going through the packs, but this was going to take like five hours, so the way I normally do things, or I used to do things at least, I lay down all of the cards like from the first common. Reverse Shinx and another Raichu. So I think we went through about half of the packs. Maybe, I'm not really sure. I didn't exactly pile them exactly. Reverse Mr. Mime. Man, we're gonna have to get level X's. I mean, who knows, you might just you know, there's a chance I could like pull one after one back to back or something. Just want to get at least two. I mean, I think I got enough, a lot of rare hollows, so that's good. Of course, we still want to pull the stuff that we actually want. Like, slacking is important, even though it's just a rare. I got like everything besides him so far, I think. What the hell? It's not a good card, but it has good HP, and I really want to use it with the memory barrier. I mean, yeah, it was a not a good card. It had good HP, but bad attack, bad retreat, bad poker power, but. You use it with the memory berry. Um, if you want to use the platinum one, you'd have to use like something like Dialga G, uh, Level X to shut bodies, because that guy's even worse than Mysterious Treasures, even though it has a decent attack and more HP. That poker body fucks him up. It's like a real slack, and if you attack an next turn, he loafs around. You can't attack. Reverse Snover, Gyarados. Needle Queen, huh? I don't have this. First time getting this. So I think, yeah, there must be Needle King here too. It's a regular rare. But honestly, I really just want to get like two slackings at least. Dunsparce. Damn, I keep getting Orsering. Reverse Metal Energy, I guess that's good. Unknown Eye, I think.
I mean, to be fair, this isn't exactly a very small set. It's not big as hell, like Legends Awakened or something, but it is kind of big. I think 120 cards or something. You have to admit that's big. Another Raichu. Damn. Sand showing the reverse sand slash next to it. It's pretty cool when that happens. I guess. It also wouldn't hurt to get more Tyranidars. I only got one. Oh, for a minute I thought we were going to get another Typhlosion. Thank God. But I mean, I guess instead of getting this, maybe. Man, it's really going to suck if I don't get any level X. Mesprit. Okay, that's a good change. I don't have a single one of these, so if we get the Azelf, which I hope to God we do, I, ha I will have all the entire trio from Mysterious Treasures. Azelf is also my favorite and the best one out of the three in this set. So we have to get him. another one of the cards my brother has and just wouldn't give. Nine tails, huh? First one. Uh, so that makes two. I have one in a binder. Reverse Cricketot. Cricketot. That's shit. So I'm becoming really worried. We don't have a lot of packs left and there's still a lot of stuff that we just have to pull, damn it. Spinarak, Mr. Mime, ah, oh, pretty bad. Weasel, Vulpix, Gibble, Shinx. Bronzong, that's kind of good. Want to get a couple of those. I think the problem is there's just a lot of cards that I was hoping to pull from this set. There's a lot of cards that I wanted. Hey, you can't get everything, but with 72 packs, damn it, you gotta get something. Yes. Okay, so this is very relieving. We got a Zelf. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to get like uh, two or something. You don't want more than two. Um, at least I don't. I mean, in competitive play, you'd play like one, but just good to have spares. But, you know, I pulled this. That's pretty good. It's reverse. It's not the rare hollow, which I think I would kind of want, but better than nothing that's for sure better than not pulling it at all so now we got this i think we're in a little better position so just a bunch of slackings and like a level x damn it and i think I'm, i'll be good toxic croak that's bad have a reverse one anyway
Another high score. I really wish it was a guard type or something. I guess I got more than I could dream of now, right? Meganium. Oh, that's good. I forgot this was in. So this is another one of the rare hollows that I had from the past from this set. I have one of these. Uh, now I have a reverse too. So it's not bad. It's kind of good actually. Good card. Art wise. Reverse Needle Queen and Whiskash. Whiskash, however the fuck you want to call him. Reverse Darkness, I think that's good. Crobat. Oh hell, there's only a few packs left, so we're gonna have to get lucky, is the only way. Dude, I didn't even get one slacking, what the hell. Marco, Blissey, ah, this sort of makes up for it, I guess. Blissey trying to chill me out. So there's like only uh, six packs left, am I right? Yeah. So we still want two slackings, we still want guard chomps and level X's, damn it. I think I'm gonna be happy with this, and maybe like an Azov or a Hollow. Some of these, not all, because I don't think I'll get all. So, in the first pack we get S. Fucking a readers. Skull. Ah, oh, yeah. Guard chomp. Okay. So that's pretty good. I mean, we didn't get a couple like we wanted for a deck or something, but I got one for my collection, and I think that's what it's most important, that's what matters. Really nice. It's also rare hollow, not reverse, which I think is good. So, okay. This is good. So all that's left now is slacking and... Dude, at least one level X, come on. Slackoth, Paris, Zubat, Chikorita, Finian. Marco and a Warren. I think I'm not gonna get any level X's. I'm a little suspicious. But like I said, we're gonna have to check all the cards and then I'll decide whether this was worth it or not. Meganium reverse again. Okay. Nine tails. So two packs left, I'm not going to get a level X, at least just give me a slacking, it's just a regular rare. A reverse Vigoroth, I guess that's interesting, Nido Queen. Oh damn, there's also Akron from this set that I didn't pull, another rare hollow. So this is the last pack. Let it be a Magmortal level X. I don't think it's gonna be. I, I know it's not gonna be one. I can feel it. 
I know from the touch of the pack. So an octillery and an ultra meganium. So now basically that means now I have like four or five. I think four. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put all the hollows and I don't know if I'm gonna put all the reverses and sleeves and see what our total like pulls, good pulls were. Okay everyone, so I got one, two, three, four, five typhlosions, one, two, three, four, five right shoes, one, two, three, four, five punch pose, and one that I'm gonna be trading. That makes six. One, two, Luminion, one, two, Uxi, one, two, three, Blissey, one, Celebi, one for Alligator, one, Tyranitar, one, Magmotor, Ambipom, Garchomp, Mesprit, two Bronzongs, one Azelf, and three Meganiums. For a total of 36 Hollow Cards, uh, some are reversed, some are not. So from a 72 uh, booster, from 72 booster packs, so that's like two booster boxes, even though they were loose. I'm gonna conclude that this was kind of a fail. I mean, I did get like 36 hollows, like I wanted, but not a single level X. Uh, it should have been at least two for it to be a great success, but we didn't even get one. And we didn't even get stuff like slacking, which we wanted. So yeah, I'm gonna have to conclude that this was average. Anyway guys, this was the big ass opening. Thank you for watching.